What up, guys? What up? Today we're doing a review slash comparison on the Beats by Dr. Dre Solo HDs and the Bose AE2s. So today we're going to have six categories. We're going to rate each product on each of the six categories. And at the end, we're going to come out with a winner on which category is the, I'm in which product is the best. So Will's going to be taking care of the Beats side. I'm going to be taking care of the Bose side. Let's go get into it. First category is case. All right, so here goes the Beats case. You have the B logo right here strap right here and the basic zipper right here it's a mesh case so it doesn't protect it doesn't provide much protection for your investment but it does do its job on the other hand for the bows it's a bag that's all I can say a regular drawstring bag provides absolutely nothing for protection if you dropped them, your headphones might break. If you bang them against something hard enough, they might break. I mean, you're spending $200, $300 on headphones, and you get a bag to protect them? I mean, are you crazy? In this category, it's going to the Beats because they have padding on their case. They do have protection. Bows don't. Round number one, it goes to Beats. The next category would be portability. Portability. Um, As you can see, Beats can fold. So it's easy to put it in a case and then put it in a bag. It's very compact because it does fold. So it would be no hassle to travel with, um, and you wouldn't have to worry about it breaking as much. On the other hand, for the bows, they do not fold. What you see is what you get. You put them in the case like this. And with the case, I wouldn't feel comfortable just throwing my case in my bag because of the fact that there's no padding in it. So if I drop my bag or... If they're just stuff is rattling around in there, I just don't feel comfortable putting my headphones in there. So I would be carrying around, carrying these around all day, which is really inconvenient. Cause say if you have to do something with two hands, then really you can't, cause you're carrying around your headphones. So it's really a hassle to be carrying these around. So number two, category number two is going to the Beats, cause they do fold up and they do have a better case. So. Alright, category, category number, number three. three is comfort. Yep. Okay. So, as you can see, the ear cuffs on the Beats are some type of foam. I'm not really sure what it's made out of, but it's an on-ear headphone. So, you just put them on your ears, and they sit comfortably. Um, they're cushy. Um, there is a little type of leather-type material on top. It's a little cushy, but it's not anything serious. For, for the bows, you got an over ear type style, and there's a lot of padding on these. So when you put them on your head, it really isolates you from the outside world. You really can't hear anything. So and there's a lot of padding on top, really squishy. A lot of padding on the side. So I think we're gonna have to give round uh, number, three, round three to the bows because they do have more padding than the beats. So yeah. So round number four is. Durability. durability. Um, as we all know, I don't think Beats is a company known for the durability. Durability. Um, this is actually my second pair of Beats. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, Beats are oh, these are mostly made of plastic. So and it's there's only a little metal, not that much, but they as you can see they bend and flop a lot. They, they swivel, um, and it's just not a great structure. They don't feel sturdy at all. I no. Mean. But as for the bows, they do feel very sturdy. They have metal running through the whole headband right here. I mean, I mean if you shake them, you don't hear anything. You don't hear any rattling, shaking. Yeah. As for if you shake to the, this. the beats, they shake, they rattle. They, come on. You're paying $250 for those. I mean, you can get a little better durability, so number four goes to the bows. Now, wire. Wire. He's going to tell you about the Beats wire. Okay. So, we have the L shaped wire right here. Um, It's a cozy fit wire, so um, it really gets close to it, really gets close to your iPhone, um, iPad. iPod. MP3 player, um, but it doesn't really, if you have like a thick case, it doesn't really fit well, um, 
but just a regular jack goes into anything basically. Um, but it all this does uh, fit well on airplane jacks, like you know, on the chairs. Um, so that's one thing, but it's not nothing great. As for the bows, this has like a more of like a you like um like a gun shape kind of. So it like sticks out more of your device, but if you did have a bulkier case, it would the case you would you would allow the case to have more room than this. Like say if I put this on my iPod. You see how much room there is between this wire and the device, but if you put this on, the device and this right here does not have any space at all. So if you had a bulky case on your iPhone, iPad, MP3 player, it really not going to fit on well. So, yeah, but on the other hand, a uh, con for the wire is this right here goes right into the headphone. So, if, say if this breaks, say if like, this, the wire comes out like it did on his beats, you have to go right through both. You're going to have to buy another wire because of this right here you see this right here it goes right into the headphone as so and it goes like this and when you take it out there's a big chunk missing right here so this goes right into there so i don't really know who wins this category you can call it a draw since they both, a draw. they both have their their own con pros and cons so this one is a draw so so i think it's two down. to two so it's actually 3-3. Oh, 3-3. So it all comes down to this last this one right here. Sound. So, well. Alright. Sound. So, gotta take this out. Get the wire. Um, th these excel in some categories. Like in more, in more genres of music with loud bass. Like, like that. You know, Rap, techno, hip hop, um, dubstep, even those are right in that. But like classical jazz, like I don't listen to that. He doesn't listen to that. But for someone that does, these wouldn't be the headphone for you. Rock really doesn't do great with these headphones. So if if you are into that, if you are into that kind of music, I wouldn't really go for the Beats. Maybe Bose, Sennheiser. I don't know about Skull Candy. Skull Candy's garbage. But so let's see. He's having some technical difficulties with the iPod, I don't know why. Alright, here we go. So I, I think you can hear that. That's as loud as it goes. It's pretty, it's pretty loud, but it's not that uh, clear. Yeah, so. so, if he puts them on his ear, they do, they do leak a little, so when it wants to set up, I'll leak. They do leak, but... They look pretty bad, so. But they do have a nice sounding bass. Uh, my advice to you, though, is don't always play it at high volume. Um, mine is me, uh, probably like halfway to three quarters of the volume because when I had my old beats, the sound was getting distorted when I was listening to them. Right now. So for the bows, um, they do excel in a more Music genres such as like classic rock. I don't listen to that music. I listen to rap, hip hop, techno stuff like that, and they do do a very good job of that. But they do not have as much bass as the beats. But they have a lot more clarity in the um in the sound, more crisp crisp um, vocals. So I'm gonna plug these in for you and show you how they sound. So my advice with any headphones, um, over like a hundred dollars, keep very good care of them. It's just that. And this is them at full blast. So they do sound pretty loud. So I think they might be a, a little louder than the beats, but so now I'm gonna put them on, see if they can, they leak a little. They have a slight leak, but not much. So they do leak a little bit, so... Oh, and something I think they both have. They're both sound depleting. 
Yeah, um, when you put them on, you really can't hear anything. So, if we get to this category, what product wins? Is it Beats or is it Bose? I think we should let them decide. Well, let's let them decide. Beats or Bose, people? Alright, comment. You decide. Comment down below. Like, subscribe. Deuces.